into like the Percy Jackson context that kind of got us thinking about this episode is that there is a person on the actual like acting crew. He currently plays Chris Rodriguez in the show. Um, forgot his actual name, Andrew something. Is it Andrew Anderson or? Andrew Alvarez. Yeah, I knew it was an A, uh, an alliterative. Um, but he has supposedly been helping fans who make fan edits by sending them videos that he has exclusively of Charlie. And he's been like in DMs with them for hours, apparently. And this is, we, we can't find much to back this up besides this one person's post and all the comments on it. So, um, you know, like we do want to stress that this is just, you know, like a very small allegation at the moment. And um, that like, we don't know exactly what's happening with it, mm -hmm. but we do want to just like pitch it as if, you know, like, you know, what you should do if you're a fan of a series and you somehow do happen to get into the ear of an actor or a crew member that feels a similar age to you. Yeah. And like the situation with him is just almost like a good way to like have a conversation because it was more about the video that I saw where somebody was like acknowledging it. A oh lot of the comments were people like j kids like I'm assuming like confused about why that would be wrong like yeah. why it would be wrong of him to talk to fans that long or like or why that would be inappropriate and I was like well that's something that we can at least try to talk about or at least try to start a conversation to talk about that to explain try to explain like why that would be inappropriate yeah it's not necessarily that you should never be able to talk to somebody that's famous or somebody that you admire but you really got to question how they're talking about you, the method of communication, if it's private, if they're asking you to keep anything secret, um, you know, if they're telling you very intimate things to get very intimate things back, that's when it starts to feel like, okay, this isn't just talking to somebody I admire. Yeah, like the thing about the situation with, with Andrew Alvarez that made me concerned was, this may seem random, but the fact that he, at least at one point, very soon to now was Mormon <laughs> and yeah. is like very Christian, like just earlier today, he posted a photo of like the Bible um, and he has like Bible verses and his thing. Like, I don't know if he's necessarily Mormon anymore. A lot of people who are Mormon end up leaving at the around the age that he is. So it's possible that he's not that religion anymore. But a big part of that religion is talking to people that you don't know, like you're supposed to. And it's looked at as like, oh, God is like having me be in contact with these people because he wants me to spread his word sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Like there is no boundaries in Mormonism at all. There's you are looked down on if you have boundaries. Um, you're supposed to give everything up for the church. And you're not supposed, and especially with like younger girls, uh, younger girls are supposed to like date and get married as soon as humanly possible. And so there's a lot of like grooming stuff that tends to happen in those sort of religions anyway. And so that on top of the idea that he was like sending videos of people that he knows in real life that are friends of his, that mm -hmm. are these like famous people to like people that he, that are like, to like Percy Jackson, like fan accounts so that they can use them in their videos. And that I'm, I'm pretty sure the reason why people even found out this was happening is because the 14 year olds that he was talking to probably posted and like thanked him for like, like sending that stuff to him. Like you would, because they don't realize that anything is wrong. And there's like, there's like seven different levels of, of, of like of like things that are going on there that are all like hard to navigate, I guess. You know all these things about them. They don't know anything about you. And so you would be willing as the fan to do whatever to get attention from them. And that can accelerate into a very like not good place. And if somebody is going through like a shitty time in their life or they're just like have a predisposition to like grooming or whatever, they can sometimes use that stuff to get attention that they want if they feel like that's lacking in their own life um, mm -hmm. and end up doing things that hurt you. And you don't even realize that it's bad because you want that attention from those people. 
Yeah. Uh, but it's also like a thing of like, if would I ever talk to somebody else like this? Like if I was talking to a, another 20 year old that was just like a regular 20 year old, would I think that it was okay if a 20 year old was talking to me this way when I'm 14? Yeah. <laughs> like probably not. And with a show like this, where the star, almost all of them are young, mm -hmm. like Andrew and Charlie are the oldest and they're like 20. Yeah. Um, it, I just, it feels like a good idea to try to like, just talk about that idea of what is appropriate, even for people that you idolize, like mm -hmm. what should, what should they be doing? Because I guess one thing with this, I wanted to make clear is that not only with the Andrew situation, but with any other situation like that, it's very possible that when you come from a religion like that, that like wants you to talk to people and thinks that that's a good thing, that you don't even think that what you're doing is wrong. Yeah. And so it's very possible that he did not think that he was doing anything wrong and it just ended up doing it any, like there's, that's one of those things about like abusive things that people don't like they don't like the idea that like you could do something that's harming someone without realizing that you're doing it. People mm -hmm. want to believe that you have to have like malicious intent, but legitimately you can do things that are harmful to people without realizing what you're doing is harmful. Sometimes, sometimes that does happen. <laughs> and this could be a situation like that. Yeah. Like, and whether his end goal is to, you know, like, do something more sinister or simply just to be a representative of Christ and, you know, like Christ like morals or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Either way, it's once you get to a certain level of stardom, the idea of talking to fans, even if let's say he was still a teenager himself, let's say he was still under 18, it still doesn't sit right, you know? Like it still feels like the power imbalance is too much to where he can use the fact like i am a tv star i am on this show and i could get you into these parties or i could i could get you exclusive percy jackson merch or whatever you know it may be that is still more power in this situation to then manipulate somebody who may not know better